keep adding and layering on to it. So I see some of you guys, you know, you have more experience in wrestling. You're kind of getting onto your own track and, and what you naturally do. Don't, don't do that. Go slow, step by step, and we'll just kind of add the pieces to it. We'll get to what you're doing, but we'll, we'll do it in a systematic way, okay? So um, follow each step as best you can, um, and we'll add to it. Um, one thing, um, we want to, uh, you know, Fred Schmidt, where are you, Fred? He, he was, a, I don't know, the high school credentials, a national runner-up at the Seaton Community College, officiated the last uh, 120 years. Just 40. 40, 40 years he's been officiating, really, really knows the rules, knows wrestling well. But he mentioned to me one of the rules, you know, when you go out to wrestle, you step on the line. Once the you put, color, the blue. The blue, or the, yeah, or the green or the, green or the, or the red, or the red yeah, line, the red, yeah. when you're neutral. Once I step on that line, you know, I told you to touch the mat to check your stance. You, you got to have your hands behind your front foot. If I do this, it'll be a false start, okay? So you want to make sure the rule is always touch between your feet. So I put my foot on the line to get ready. I'm going to touch between my feet to get set. Okay, we don't want anybody to get a false start trying to get a good stance, right? So we'll start there. But a lot of you guys are missing the beginning. You're you're not checking your stance before you make contact. If I'm in a wrestling match and I'm standing up like this and I go to reach for him, what's going to happen? Right? He's going to pop. He's going to go under. He's going to attack my legs. You got to instill this instinct to where it's natural. You don't even think about it. And you could be the third period, 30 seconds left, in the hardest match of your life, as tired as you've ever been, and guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna get low in a good stance here because you do it every single time you start, right? If you do it when you drill, you'll do it in a match. If you don't do it when you drill, you'll never do it in a match, especially when you're tired and your instincts take over and you stop thinking, right? When you're dead tired in the third period, you're not thinking, elbows in, head up, good stance, touch the mat, be ready. Right? You're just like, oh, wrestle, right? So your instincts take over. So every time we get set to do this, get ready, touch the mat, and then a lot of you guys are just reaching as soon as you, you get a stance. I need to close the gap with my hands down, hit them with my head, then beat them inside, okay? So look, my back leg is the one that's going to his collar. Back leg arm is going to the collar. I'm not reaching first with my lead leg. My back arm is hitting here, and now I'm switching. A lot of you guys are getting here, and then just reaching for his arm in circle. I'm moving my hands. It's hand fighting, right? We're gonna have a lot of hand motion, a lot of movement, and we gotta develop your coordination and your skills for moving your hands the right way. So I collar tie here. The next movement is to rotate to his arm here, and now I'm clubbing with my other hand. Okay, once I make contact, then I can reach with my lead leg arm, okay? So banging on his head, coming to his arm, clubbing, and then I'm circling with my lead leg side, okay? And I'll make a rule, let's circle three times, okay? So let's pay attention, how many times do I circle? All right, all right, three times is the answer. I'm gonna call on you in a little bit, see if you remember. All right, hand down, close the gap, beat him inside, Rotate my hand, club, step to his foot, one, two, three times. Three circles, and then we'll stop, and then the other guy goes. Okay, exactly that, that step one, two, three, right? Step one, check my stance. Two, close the gap. Three, beat him inside. Four, rotate my hands in circle. Four steps, we wanna do exactly that way every time we touch. All right, let's try it. Three, two, one. 